Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. Today, we're going to provide you with some information about what you can expect on the AWS Cloud Practitioner exam, as well as some tips and resources to help you pass your AWS Practitioner exam. As always, if you have any questions or comments as you watch this video, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoy this video or find it helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Let's jump into it. AWS is a popular choice at startups as well as established companies. As more and more companies adapt digital ways, it's only natural for professionals to keep up with those transformations. Thus, relevant skills in cloud computing is a need of the hour. Don't be overwhelmed with the number of AWS cloud services. With so many resources like books, videos, courses, and white papers available, there is enough information to start off. If you're looking to start from the fundamentals of AWS, I would highly recommend starting with the AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification. The AWS Cloud Practitioner is an entry-level exam that requires absolutely no coding or programming knowledge whatsoever. This is targeted towards people who wish to acquire a general understanding of the AWS Cloud. So let's have a look at the exam and have a look at the things that you should expect in your exam. First of all, in total, there are 65 multiple choice, multiple answer questions in the AWS Cloud Practitioner exam. The exam duration is 90 minutes. The minimum passing score is 700 points. You can take the exam in English, Japanese, Korean, Indonesian, and simplified Chinese languages. And lastly, it costs $100 USD. So now let's have a look at the exam topic breakdown, starting with Cloud Concepts. Cloud Concepts is gonna be 26% of the exam, and this domain checks your knowledge about the cloud, the technology it's built on, its cost and operational structure and benefits, and finally, the difference between the workings of cloud-based applications and traditional hosted ones. Then there's security. Security is gonna be 25% of the exam, and this domain's focus is on AWS itself how AWS organizes its networking, security, and hardware infrastructure. It checks your knowledge about the security and compliance standards when using AWS services and the role of AWS and customers in it. And then there's technology. And this is gonna be 33% of the exam. And this domain requires you to comprehend the tools that allow you to monitor and configure the AWS resources. AWS management and AWS command line interface are two common AWS tools that interact with all of the AWS services. And lastly, there's billing and pricing, which will be about 16% of the exam. In this domain, AWS tests your knowledge around its cost structure. With scalable cloud services, there is really no limit as to a company's purchase or what it would cost to them. The challenge here is to know if something is not going as per plan and taking the best and immediate action based on AWS's guidelines. Now let's have a look at some of the study material that's available to you. There are many ways to approach the resources. This depends on whether you like to read books, watch videos, or take planned courses. Now, of course, there's online learning platforms like Udemy. In fact, the entire AWS Cloud Practitioner knowledge is covered by Stéphane Marique's courses on Udemy, and I'll provide a link to that in the description of this video down below. There's also a four hour video by Andrew Brown on YouTube, and this video explains the important AWS Cloud Practitioner details in a brief manner, and I'll also include the link to this in the description down below as well. You can also get the AWS's Certified Cloud Practitioner Study Guidebook, which consists of practice exams like what you can expect at the real exam. Another good resource is the book AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner Practice Tests 2020, which comes with six practice exams with 65 questions each covering all four domains. You should aim to achieve an 80% score. You can also find completely free video courses at AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner Training 2020 full course. It's four hours of video that contains everything a beginner needs to know about AWS and its services for the exam. On Amazon's official AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner page, you can also find sample questions. 
Then there are also the WizLabs AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner Practice Tests. These offer three full length mock exams. When you answer the questions, you get an exhaustive explanation as feedback. When it comes to preparing for the exam, I highly recommend taking your time with the study material and scheduling an exam when you feel more confident. Also, take your exam in the test center instead of online, of course, when it's safe to do so. So there you have it. These are some tips to help you pass your AWS Cloud Practitioner exam. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you found this video useful or helpful or you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.